So I realized after watching all your videos from last week, comma, that I did not do a very good job at introducing myself, period. My name is Jessica, comma, I am 23, comma, I live outside of Portland, Oregon, period. I just recently finished up college, period. Actually, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. I'm very sick of school, period. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree from Portland State University, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, in graphic design, exclamation point. I am a very huge Disney fan, comma, I do love theater, comma, and um, just right now I have never had so much free time in my life, comma, and I need a job, period. <laughs> um, that's not a bad introduction, right? If there's any, comma, if there's anything else you want to know about me, you are welcome to ask me, comma. Colon, semicolon. You would think, comma, after five and a half years of college, comma, that I would have learned better punctuation, period. But I hated writing papers, period, period. <laughs> All right, Monday. Zoom. So I know I did a horrible job with the punctuation thing. Really. Not my forte. Uh, I think that was always something I would get like in trouble for with my papers. It's like, too many commas. Need is a semicolon. What? It, graphic design. Not English. Although, it took a lot of art history classes that required papers, and so you'd think I would have learned. But I never, I have this horrible habit of not paying attention to um, the instructor's comments that they write on your papers. Probably should have, probably would write better papers if I cared, but I don't care. Let's see, I'm going to comment on videos, because I went back and I watched some of the videos. Go me. And so... Um, from weeks before. I watched this week's, too. Um, so, I hope I get your names right. Kelly? Wednesday? Kelly. Um, the experiment you did? Awesome! Love! We totally did that, and it was amazing, and I got to pop the egg, and I loved it, although it smelled awful, because we used apple vinegar instead of just vinegar vinegar, so it was like egg and apple, and Ugh, it was bad. Um, Ashley. Thursday. Um, let's see, I, I, I got notes. There, down there. It's like backwards. Um, I'm so jealous you got a fish. Um, for a couple Christmases ago, I'm like, all I want is a fish tank. I just want some fish, and I have cats, and the... Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but they survived, for the most part, and the cats weren't their demise. But, um, I had one... They were big bug-eyed fish. They were actually pretty ugly, but I love them. Um, they were Marco and Polo. Uh, so I don't have any good names for your fish. Sorry. Um, let's see... Megan, you're, I just can't wait to be king. Yay! Disney. Anything Disney makes me happy. Um, let's see. I think that was all as far as video responses. I went through other videos from other weeks and kind of took notes on what you guys discussed and talked about. I know you are all big theater fans. I love theater. Love. Haven't seen as many things as I would like to, but someday I will go to work and I will have money <laughs> and I will be able to. Yay! Um, 
I think, what was the most recent thing we saw? The most recent thing I think Emily and I went to see together was The Drowsy Chaperone, which I loved, but I loved for a very different reason, which I'll talk about later. Um, but I think, as far as favorite Broadway shows, Phantom of the Opera. Love, love, love. love. I, um, one of my parents' friends when I was really little was a huge Michael Crawford fan, so, like, it was all Phantom all the time. We used to, like, be Christine and Meg, and my, they had a daughter, and she was my friend, and we used to be Christine and Meg, yeah. Um, and sing Phantom songs, and I love it, and it just came through last year, late last year, and we went to see it, like, five times. Okay, not five, but like three, but it was amazing. Because the guy who played the Phantom, oh, hello, should be Phantom all the time. If I could remember his name, I can't, but I will put a link over there once I figure it out. Oh, the guy who played Raul? Yeah, nice. Super sweet. Loved. Loved. And after a while, they started to recognize us, and it was bad at stage door. Um, let's see. You guys discussed books. I, it takes a lot for me to sit down and read a book, just because with school and everything, I'd read school books, and then I would learn to hate reading, and then I'd fall asleep. So I am much more into podcasts and audiobooks. I can do those because I love to drive and so if I can have an audiobook on in my car my car's that one. Um it's it's a good day. If, if I'm not listening to Disney music. Um so I think my most recent audiobook actually is one I found called down and Out in the Magic Kingdom by Cora Doctorow. Super crazy book. It's like a sci-fi Disney World thing. So if you're into Disney, you should check it out because it's a um, Creative Commons book. So if you can, you can go to patiobooks.com. Link. You have tons of free audiobooks, including that one. And so let's see. Podcasts. My newest, most favoritest podcast. I listen to mostly Disney podcasts because I'm told you it's Disney. It's in the brain. It's on the shirt. Um, actually, it's on my T-shirt too. It says "Condemned Tower Terror" on the back. Anyway, um, where was I? Oh, newest podcast, Nostalgia. Love Nostalgia podcast. It's amazing. Oh. Back to <laughs> Drowsy Chaperone and audiobooks and audiobooks.com. They have a free um, version of reading of Anne of Green Gables. Love. They're my favorite. They're like the best movies, the Anne of Green Gables series. That, which is my Drowsy Chaperone connection, because if you've ever seen the Anne of Green Gables series, you will know... And I'm going to remember his name. I just call him Gilbert, because he's Gilbert Blythe in the Anna Green Gable series. Jonathan Crombie. He, when we went up to Seattle to see the Drowsy Chaperone, Jonathan Crombie was man in chair, and it was amazing, and I loved it, and I laughed so hard I cried. So if I do get to do a challenge, um, I'm going to roll my virtual dice that I had to pull up here. We'll see what goes on. Two. Monday would be one. Tuesday would be two. That would be Sierra. Right? 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 I think you should have to make a an, an origami crane during your video. doesn't have to be fancy. It can just be out of, like, notebook paper or something, but... That's totally your challenge. If I don't get to do challenges, then you don't have to do it. So I have one more Monday of recording, and then Emily will be back. <laughs> but she better, because I'm bored without her. I get out of school. She always complains. You're in school. I can't do anything with you. You're doing homework. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm done. And guess what? She's not here. Yeah. Nice. Have a good week. And Sierra, we will see you tomorrow. 
Wah!